hi this is Lalit and in this video I am going to show you how can we uh, implement uh, disposing pattern or basically I disposable uh, interface in a class where we need uh, object cleanup so in this example I am going to show you uh, how a disposing pattern works and how it can be implemented so in here uh, in this solution I have this uh, console application uh, wherein uh, I have uh, uh, this class which is uh, called uh, disposable class and you can see here uh, this class is uh, inheriting a disposable uh, interface this interface has got uh, this method dispose which uh, we are going to uh, override in uh, in our uh, program so here uh, you can see um, the the complete pattern is uh, laid out and uh, and then uh, uh, and then you can see uh, first uh, we need to define a, a bool uh, variable which will basically uh, control if there is any unnecessary call coming to the class or disposing so this will tell us whether the object is already been disposed or not and then this is the actual method actual implementation of our disposing method out here to this uh, we are passing a boolean variable whether uh, it is true or false based on uh, this condition we will uh, enter into this block if first we will check if the old object is already disposed then we will come out of it we will do anything if it is disposing and then if the reader is uh, not null yet the this is the uh, 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 string reader is the object that uh, we are trying to uh, have uh, control over using uh, this pattern so you can see here um, uh, if reader is uh, not null that means th this need to be disposed then reader need to be disposed and uh, if it is uh, already been uh, uh, and if it is uh, being disposed here then we are setting this uh, variable to true so that means this variable uh, this, this this tells the color of the class that this object is already been disposed and then we can uh, do this uh, uh, dispose uh, we can actually call the dispose and suppress finalize so uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, implement uh, this uh, this in here so in here I'm creating uh, the instance of uh, this uh, disposable class which is implementing a disposable interface and then I'm doing uh, some operation on this class and I'm displaying that message out here uh, but um, uh, I have not uh, called the dispose method here yet so let's call the dispose method here uh, so that means I'm telling uh, the controller, program controller, that I'm uh, going to dispose all the objects that have been consumed by this class, and this should this should forcibly uh, kill all the all the unmanageable objects inside uh, disposable class. So let's run the code and see how it works. I'm running it and the control is come here let's say step into step into it's coming for the construction the object is getting constructed for the string redo and then this is the method which will actually return me the message uh, which is uh, being processed so let's say step into so you can see here reader I'm using the reader to get this message then the reader is done its work now we need to dispose it so now let's step into so it's calling this method again going there going into dispose 
this is the magic which is happening so see so i'm saying disposing we are trying to dispose this but it is not already disposed so it will definitely enter into it let's just type into disposing true reader reader is not null yet so get into this dispose the reader is disposed disposed skinned suppress finalize so when dispose is happened so we need to tell garbage collector that you need not to uh, initialize or call finalize method for this object because we have already done the cleanup so this was a very um, uh, basic uh, implementation of uh, disposing pattern disposing pattern can be implemented in many ways there are some complex scenarios wherein uh, we, we go ahead and uh, implement disposing pattern but this is one of the very simple and basic and uh, very reasonable implementation of disposing pattern